Can I sit here in church like an imposter, she asks. Am I an imposter? I take a moment to collect myself. Her honesty and vulnerability are too familiar. I too have sat in a room full of Christians and admitted I don't believe in Christ or in any God at all. I tell her a story about a man walking along the shore of a lake. On his way, he runs into two fishermen. They're busy working, but he tells them that he'll show them how to bring in people instead of fish if they come with him. The two fishermen drop their nets and follow the man. I tell her one of those fishermen was Simon, who was also called Peter, and that he is one of the founders of the church with a big C. When Peter dropped his nets and followed the man, Jesus, he didn't know anything about the Messiah being a sacrificial lamb or about crucifixion or resurrection. He just heard the man's story and believed it enough to follow him. The Gospels are a collection of stories about Peter and the other 11 disciples constantly doubting, believing the wrong thing, or entirely missing the point about what Jesus was saying. So do I think it's okay not to know what you believe and still be a part of the church? Heck yeah. In fact, I think that's exactly what following Jesus is about. Thank you.